What is up, my people? It is your homeboy, Roth here. So today, I want to talk about the channel Awesome Fans and Cinematic Venom. So, I assume that most of you probably know who Nostalgia Critic is, right? You know, the guy that owns Channel Awesome, I think. I think Mike Michelle owns Channel Awesome now. I'm not sure. Sorry guys, the Wi-Fi isn't working. Hold on guys, I'll be back. Just hold on. So I'm back, so sorry about that, I had to take care of something. So, yeah, today we're going to be talking about Channel Awesome. So I assume most of you know who Doug Walker is, who does, aka the Nostalgia Creek, right? So, yeah, I already talked about him. So, Doug Walker is somebody who does movie reviews, who plays the character Nostalgia, you know, yeah, so he's, the the Salsa Critic is somebody who reviews bad movies, who, he's pretty much like the angry video game nerd for bad movies. Don't believe me? Hold on, let's see. Okay. You see, he's pretty much like the angry video game nerd for movies because AVGN reviews bad movies and Nostalgia Critic reviews bad movies too. But not that's not a bad thing. You know, so... Look, most people actually hate Doug Walker, but to be honest, I actually still do like him, I'm not gonna lie. However, I'm not gonna defend Doug for... for harassing his co-workers co because... If you're somebody who defends Doug Walker for harassing his co-workers, congratulations, you're probably messed up. So, you guys know Cinematic Venom, right? So, Cinematic Venom did, did Channel Awesome vi videos way back in 2018. Most of them were Channel Awesome skits. So, by the time 2019 came around, he decided to do Channel Awesome. He decided to do reaction videos of Channel Awesome fans and making videos about him. So, yeah. Okay, so. The defense of Channel Awesome. Oh my god, don't kill us! We might have opinions! We might have opinions about it! Please don't hurt us! Where he's like making out, oh no, we have a different opinion! Oh, you know, we can't accept this! Even though they, they do the same thing! There's no point where he says anybody's- this, So, Cinematic Venom reacted to If You Smell a Channel Awesome video called the, the Defense of Channel Awesome. Now, If You Smell's Defense of Channel Awesome was so stupid. Sorry for insulting him, but you know, I saw the reaction video that Cinematic Venom did, and, and my god, his defense is so weird. Stupid. He literally does a whole sketch as, as, with Happy Madison fans go, <laughs> poop, <laughs> <laughs> like, The fucking kids I show has him insulting people. I don't understand. Oh, I got you, motherfuckers! What you thought I was done? <laughs> oh, and this is where everybody's like, I oh, just obsessed. You just 
Milking it for just one to stay relevant! <laughs> That's my entire yeah, purpose. So when you guys say that I'm milking it, look at this guy's last four videos. <laughs> In what you He couldn't pay to get the water the the, the water. Our own admission, if you smell their own apologies for those, because they had contracts. And they were the same ones where they were starved, given no drinks. Now, this video that Cinematic Venom made was so hilarious. Hello everybody, welcome back to Cinematic Venom and another reaction, and it's back. This video is pretty much a try not to laugh challenge, because he's reacting to a video that has been making him laugh most of the time. The critic responded to this guy, oh. I got his phone, I started recording, and then in his head he was like, shit, I've just exposed that I liked it. Hate did spread so much hate to Channel Awesome. Are you gonna explain how any of the- and I don't know what else to do with- Now, Hyper Fanboy and Cinematic Venom are both friends, so I don't need to talk about this since they're both friends. So yeah, Cinematic Venom has been got getting a lot of hate from these Channel Awesome fans. So these channel awesome fans need to stop need to stop hating Cinematic Venom because the points that Cinematic Venom is making about Channel Awesome is right. Cause in 2019 when he did the Channel Awesome documentary, he made a lot of good points about Channel Awesome, and these fans are just keep on hating him. The only person that doesn't hate him is Hyper Fanboy because yeah, as I said, Hyper Fanboy and Cinematic Venom are both friends. They're just playing like they don't like each other. So, I don't need to talk about this video that he did because they're actually friends. But, you know, the other videos that these haters that have made, made about Cinematic Venom are just terrible. The current state of Channel Awesome Part 2. This video is hilarious. You? No braces on the internet you can handle. I wasn't so lucky. <laughs> And this is not your parents' braces. And this is predictable. Less painful, more comfortable. Invisalign. Oh my god. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I use the studio, but you're not allowed to. Now, since my last video, it seems there's been a lot of backlash being a spy. Hello? Anyone left at Channel Awesome? Hello? This video is hilarious. <laughs> Well, at least I still got my camera, man. Nope. <laughs> Great. I've lost everybody. Well, at least I've still got the studio. Nope. God damn it. Well, at least you guys will continue to support me and I'll be able to keep my job. Welcome to Awesome Burger, <laughs> home of the Awesome Burger, where fame never lasts. Can I take your order? Uh, I see what you did. You referenced Good Burger fr from all that and the Good Burger movie. Yeah, that was so hilarious. As if he would go with him to the thing. Wait, what? As if he would go with him. So, Cinematic Venom did a defense video of Jack back in uh, 2016. It was a nostalgia critic response video. And this response video was so awesome. He made a lot of good points about. Nostalgia Critics Jack review because his his Jack review is so bad. Yeah. So yeah, regardless of what most people think, I still do I still do like Nostalgia Critic, but I am not gonna defend him for harassing his coworkers because that was just messed up. So yeah, I think that Cinematic Venom should stop getting a lot of hate from the Channel Awesome fans. Because these Channel Awesome fans need to chill out. Okay? And I'm sorry if you guys could see any spits in this video. Sorry about that. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just talking too much. There are a lot of spits coming over here, so sorry about that. I don't know why I'm saying this. I'm so weird. Uh, yeah. Around anymore. He just. 
In my opinion, Cinematic Venom is the bestest movie reviewer in all of YouTube. Well, you know, he's my second favorite movie reviewer. My top three favorite movie reviewers will, would be uh, Filmmaster Adam, Cinematic Venom, and Chris Tuckman. If you were to tell me how I would rank them, it would be number three, Chris Tuckman, number two, Cinematic Venom, and number one will be Filmmaster Adam. Okay, I like those guys to death because their reviews are so awesome. Motherfucker, shit. Mm. He actually did a movie on YouTube called The Dark Knight Stumbles. You know what's so confusing? He started YouTube back in 2007, but apparently the first video he, he made said that it was that he started in 2011. So, it's just so confusing. I have no idea why he deleted all of his older videos. So, I still like Nostalgia Critic, but Cinematic Venom is a way better movie reviewer than the Nostalgia Critic in every way. I wish they could have a crossover. If Nostalgia Critic ever meets Cinematic Venom in real life, and if they're ever friends, they might do a crossover one day, if that would be possible. But, you know... We'll see what happens. Doug Walker needs to apologize to his old channel Awesome Workers. All he has to say is just two words, like I am sorry. Why would why would don't say um uh I'm sorry again. So yeah, he should say he should, he should tell his old co-workers that he's sorry. He should not tell his, he should not say, Oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. He should just say I'm sorry. Okay? Don't be so selfish, Doug. My god. So I really like his channel awesome diss track. Hey guys, so a lot of people wanted me to do a part. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I really hope Cinematic Venom and Nostalgic Critic do a crossover. If they did a crossover, crossover, then then the channel Awesome fans might want to check out Cinematic Venom's channel, and they might want to subscribe to him, and he might have a million subs also. That would be awesome. And if they were to review a film together, I would say that they have to review an extremely goofy movie. I'll, here, I'll show you guys the movie. This is the movie I was talking about. In my opinion, this movie is awesome. So, if they ever do a crossover together, they have to review this movie if they ever want to. So, yeah. So, please be sure to comment down below, subscribe, hit the like button, press the notification bell to be notified about future videos, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.